A week after Miguel crashed unannounced in her auntie's house, the guy kept on bugging Rosette at home. Dropping by in the morning to bring breakfast, have lunch with Robbie and play, and by night he's ducking her kid in bed. Wala na si Rosette halos ginagawa dan si Miguel nang gumagawa ng lahat. Despite his busy schedule in the company, he still managed to show up every day in front of her house porch. Pero sa loob ng mga araw na lumipas, hindi pa sila napag-usapan ang mga tungkol sa nakaka-confuse sa pag ng tawad at love confession. Rosette told her friends about it when she came home with Robbie. Tumawa mga tot sinabi na hindi naman ganun ang lalaki noong kinausap sila bago siya puntahan. Rosette did not know that Miguel stuttered when nervous. Di naman kasi nagpakita ng ganong klaseng emosyon sa kanya. He is always the powerful, the intelligent, and the wiser. Hey! Malumanin ni Rosette na sambet kay Miguel sa kamarahang niyugyog ang balikan nito. Nang gumising to agad nitong inayos ang pagkakahiga ni Robbie sa kandungan. I prepared a sleeping area for you in our room. Wait, you will let me sleep here? And the most powerful man Rosette knew was here with her, taking care of their child. Wala naman akong ibang choice. Wala kaming kasama rin ngayon dito. Umayos ng upo si Miguel at tumingin sa kanya. Where's your mom? Working. Working? Isn't she sick? Nasa kapitbahay lang siya at binabantay niyo mga bata. Matanda lang konti si Robby sa mga bata sa kabila. Mom can manage taking care of them. What time will she come back? Tomorrow morning na. Tugon ni Rosette at aktong kakalungin na si Robby. Ngunit naunaan siya ng binata. You seriously did all the job that I'm supposed to be doing? You've done this alone in the last seven years of your life. It's time to relax, rest, and enjoy my company. Para naman kaya ni Rosette magagawa ayon kung sobrang sweet ito sa kanya. Ang totoo, hindi lang yung araw ito naging sweet. Sa loob na ilang linggong lumipas, ganun na si Miguel kaya naman pilit niyang itinatago ang tunay na nararamdaman. Pero bakit nga ba niya tinatago? Bakit nga ba? I just want to make sure that he is for real. Tugon ni Rosette sa sarili niyang tanong. In the past months, the only thing that is clear to Rosette was the undeniable feelings they both have for each other. Someone could call it spark, but nonetheless, it's just their libido speaking. Pero sa loob ng isang linggong lumipas, nag-iba ang ihip ng hangin bigla. The intention of making up with her after creating an issue that made Rosette lost her job was there. Nandun din yung malinaw na intensyon na punaw nito ang mga pagkukulang sa kanilang anak. May tanong pala ako. You have to answer this honestly. Okay. Pinanood ni Rosette si Miguel na buhati ng maayos si Robby at tipikay ng marahan ng likod nito. What's your question? Sandali, may lakad ka ba? He chuckled softly while like music to her ears. Inilapan niya ito at saka sandaling inisip ang itatanong sa binata. Why did you doubt that Robby is your son? Sa kabila ng mga obvious traits ito na nakuha ng anak niya, walang makitang ibang dahilan si Rosette. Was it because you knew that I met Joey several times before the issue exploded? Partly, yes. Miguel admitted immediately. But you said you trust me. It's a half-baked profession of trust, Rosette, because you kept hiding things from me. Half-baked, she repeated in her mind. Dala din ng selos kaya nang kausapin ako ni Joey. Confessing the plan you had before, I settled and accepted that I may be mistaken. You plotted something in those meetings you had with him before the top-secret project got exposed and stolen. Kahit may distinct features kay ni Robbie? May mga tao namang magkakamukha, Rosette. That's lame, Miguel. Ang sabihin mo natatakot ka lang kasi triggered ka sa paglapit-lapit sa akin ulit ni Joey. That I admit. Pag-amin ni Miguel, nalubos ni Rosette kay nagulat. I was so into you even before I realized it was you whom I met in the bar. Just like what I told you back when we were in Laguna, you kept on bothering me, Rosette. Ang seryoso mo naman kausap? Umiwa siya ng tingin dito at saka noon nang lumakad, papasok sa kwarto nilang mag-iina. Nilinis niya ang kumot sa kami Nuestra kay Miguel at tiniga na si Robby. Sinunod naman siya nito at agad niyang niyakap kay Robby. Ang laro ang bigay din ni Miguel noong isang araw. Why don't you live with me? I have a house, Miguel. Not as big as my penthouse. It's not friendly for a growing kid like Robby. I have another estate. It's bigger than my penthouse. Child-friendly and close to neighbors. I'm still hurt because of what you did. Stop acting like I already forgive you, Miguel. Hindi pa nga ito nagpapaliwanag ng maayos sa kanya, tapos ang lakas ng loob magplano? Magpaliwanag ka muna ng maayos. Bakit ako? Bakit sa dinami ng po pwede mong gamitin ako pang naisip mo? Humiga si Miguel na malalim habang halika ng noon ni Robby. It's because whoever the spy the company is, they seemed interested in us. Yung source na noon ng picture natin ang kumalat sa portal. Yun din ang source kung saan na-expose ang top secret project. 
Gabriel tried to take it down but it was too late. So I decided to release some juicier news about my cousin and his secret marriage, which only you knew about. Removing you from the company was the best way to know who the spy was, and that's Joey. You used me because Joey kept on bugging me behind your back? Iniisip po magkasabot kaming dalawa? I heard a voice recording he released on YouTube. You planned everything seven years ago to hitch me. At naniwala ka? Hindi nga kita kailan noon eh. I have no clue that someone as rich as you impregnated me. And if you did know, would you plan it? No, because I'm not that kind of girl. Si Rosette naman ang huminga ng malalim bago nagsalita. The night out was planned because I've been sulking in my room after my bad breakup. Joey was my world and Mildred was my only friend before Dolly and Ellie. I never knew that they were fooling me until I came to surprise Joey. Pero ako masasurpresa na makita ko sila sa iisang kama. Alcohol was my only coping resort, but it became another rock that hit my head. But eventually, that rock I supposedly hit my head was the same rock that changed my life for good. Tumingin sa Rosette sa kanyang anak, saka ngumiti. I didn't know. You, what's ugly to you? Kumunot ang noon ni Miguel habang si Rosette na may ngumiti. You're the worst one-sided man I've ever met entirely. I'm sorry for believing him and giving you half my big trust. I'm willing to make amends, Rosette. Please give me another chance. Come back to my life in the company. Going back to Eigenman Corporation was the not-so-hard decision Rosette ever made in her life. May mas mahirap pang desisyon siyang ginawa at yon ang pagtanggap ulit kay Miguel ng bukal sa puso niya. Pinuno ni Rosette ng hangin ng kanyang dibdib dahil hindi siya sigurado sa mga marinig sa loob. Siyempre, medyo sariwa pa yung isyo at ilang kaganapan noong nagdaang mga linggo. Ilang beses niya nang inisipan tungkol sa pagbalik sa kabila ng mga pagbabago sa kumpanya. Marinis na ngayon sa Eigenman Corporations. Yung mga tiwaling board members sa palitan ng mas bata at maabalitan ngayon. Nanatili naman sa pwesto ang mga naging loyal sa pamamahala ni Miguel. Mas naging transparent na lahat ng transaksyon ngayon matapos mawala ng tuluyan ang pamilya ni Mrs. Calzado. They are in jail now, paying off whatever they've done that includes money corruption and power abuse. She forgave Miguel after extending his sincere apology and showing genuine ellings towards her. Gumuhit ang ngiti sa kanyang labi na makita sa reception si Jaime. Rosette, masaya nitong sambit sa kanyang pangalan. Masaya akong bumalik ka dito. He asked me to come back. Talaga? Bago yun na? Huwag mong sabihin yan kay Gerald. Tatawa na naman yun at mapipiko naman si Miguel. I already told him. And Gerald pissed Miguel off a while ago. May bagyo na naman ba? I got you all so don't worry, hmm? Muli siyang niyakap ni Jaime at nagtagal yun ng konti bago siya iniyang umalis at tumakit ng ubusina ni Miguel. Bit-bit ni Rosette ang draft ng sariling kontrata na ipapa-approve sa binata. Pumayag ito na siya mag-draft ng contract na pipirmahan na lang nito ngayon. Good morning. Rosette greeted upon entering Miguel's office. Naabutan niya pa si Anne sa loob na naging temporary assistant ni Miguel nung wala siya. Would you need anything else, Mr. Eigenman? Narinig niyang tanong ni Anne kay Miguel. None as of the moment. Thank you, Anne. Miguel answered and bore his eyes on Rosette. I'll go ahead now, sir. Paalam pa rin dalaga at saka bumaling sa kanya. Welcome back, Rosette. Thank you, Anne. Ngumiti si Rosette saka pinanood tong lumabas sa opisina ni Miguel. She's good at her work. Why don't you keep her instead? I'm keeping her actually. Bahagyang umawang ang labi niya. Then why am I here? The marketing department needs you there. I'm rehiring you for that department since you have an extensive marketing and client servicing vocabulary. Am I promoted? No. Sumimangot si Rosette pagkarinig sa pagtanggi ng binata. I'm just separating myself from you to avoid public display of affection. You hated that, right? You have a point. Umay siya ng tayo at pinunit ang kontratang ginawa niya. Since I'm not working directly to you, we don't need a contract. Iwasan mo lang maging clingy at obvious, okay? Whatever you said goes, ma'am. Aalis na ako at magtatrabaho. Baka mamaya tanggalin mo na naman ako. Tumalikod si Rosette at aktong lalabas na sana, ngunit tinawag siya ni Miguel. What else? Di niya nagawang tapusin ang sasabihin nang sakupin itong bigla ang kanyang labi. It was the same as the other passionate kiss they've shared before. She moaned when Miguel pulled away. You have a lot of work to do. Sinamaan niya ng tingin sa katuluyan ng iniwan mag-isa. Miguel Eigenman was such a tease. Sigaw ni Rosette sa isipan. Eight months later, Rosette fixed everything in the table and arranged its utensils correctly. Napatingin siya sa labas ng rest house ni Miguel at nakitang papalapit na to kasama ng mga besita nila. Mama, they are here! 
Naiiling niyang pinagpatuloy ang pag-aayos kahit kanina pa siya minamandohan ni Robby. I'm going to Papa. Don't run, Robby. Sigaw niya sa anak pero parang di naman siya narinig nito. Nakita niya sa nilubong to ni Miguel sa kaniyakap at pagkatapos pinakilala na sa mga kasama. Hindi kilala ni Rosette ang ibang kasama ni Miguel at wala siyang ideya bakit sila narito sa rest house ngayon. Dapat nasa event siya ngayon kaso hanggang pagtanggap lang na report survivor ang nagagawa niya ngayon. Miguel said that he put up capable employees on her team and they can manage the event well even without her presence. Ingress pa lang naman pati pero para kay Rosette, kailangan siya roon kaso mas nasunod pa rin ng gusto ni Miguel. Being the head of the marketing and activation was harder than being Miguel's assistant. Ang dami niya kasing kinausap kung parang nasa opisina lang siya ni Miguel, pero ayaw niyang bumalik at makulong ulit doon. Kaya lang humihirap dahil demanding pa rin si Miguel kahit nasa magkabilang department sila. He seeked for quality time always and his sudden vacation was one of those days. Rosette prepared something for you guys. Guiding guests to their seats. You're married, Miguel? As expected. Lagi naman may ganitong tanong ang natatanggap nila kapag may ganitong klase ng pagtitipon. Sa sobrang dami, hindi na mabilang na Rosette kung ilang beses nga ba yun na tanong. I'm his partner. We co-parent our child, Robbie. Paglilinaw at sagot na Rosette na alam niyang mahihirapan na namang magpariwanag si Miguel. Have a seat. I'll go get the food. Malumanin niyang sambit sa mga besita at saka aktong tatawigod na. I will help you. Ani Vina at saka umabresyete sa kanyang braso kaagad. Business ang pag-uusapan nila, di na naman ako makaka-relate. Bulong pa nito habang naglalakad sila papasok sa loob ng rest house. Tungkol ba sa negosyo ang dahilan ng bakasyon na to? Not really. I don't have a clue either. May dinner dapat ako kasama ng team ko pero sabi ni Gerald, sumama ko sa kanya dito. Tumango si Rosette bilang tugon sa sinabi nito. Bakit hanggang ngayon partners pa rin kay ni Miguel? Nag-aalangan man, tumugon pa rin siya. Hindi ko alam ko ano ba kami. At yun ang salitang unang pumasok sa isipan ko na pwedeng itawag sa amin. But you're more than a partner to him. You kiss, cuddle in bed, bond every weekend and they're love-making scenes. Rosette believed that Miguel wasn't a kiss and tell type of a guy. Pero tama din naman ang hula ni Vina at marami pa rin nagsabi na higit pa silang dalawa sa pagiging co-parent kay Robbie. Alam sa buong kumpanyang ugnay nila guys sa kung anong meron sila Vina at Gerald. But they all remain professional despite the connection they all both have. Only him can give you an answer. Ani at saka nilapitan ng mga pagkain na kanyang inihanda. Wala si Rosette natanggap na salita mula kay Vina bagkos, tinulungan na lang siya nito. Nasa rest house pa rin sila pareho para magkasama mag-ama ngayon at si Rosette naman nasa veranda. Kumagawa ng post-broad presentation. Inagahan niya ng gawa dahil ayaw niya nagkakakraming sa bandang huli. Knowing Miguel, he hated unprepared and late post-prods. Ayaw niyang masabon ito ang kanyang team on the spot na walang mahuhugot na bala. She waited for his reply diligently while arranging the picture sent by her associates and the field. Nang mag-notify na may natanggap siyang email agad niyang binukas. Sumimangot si Rosette sa nabasang reply ng binata. Tinanong niya tapos nagtanong din pabalik. Mahirap talagang makipag-usap sa matatalino ng gaya ni Miguel. Pero minsan na nawawala din yon, lalo na kapag nahihirapan sa magpaliwanag. Dali-dali nilagpit ni Rosette ang mga gamit kasama ng laptop matapos mabasa ang reply sa kanya ni Miguel. Marami pang oras bago makalabas to kaya may pagkakatan pa siyang umiwas. Pwede siyang dumaan sa likod tapos papasok sa kusina. Diretso na sa second floor kung nasa ng kwarto nila ni Robbie. Sa mga gantong pagkakataong na nasa side ni Miguel ang nag-iisang alibay ni Rosette, kailangan hindi mawala ng diskate. Kaso bukang pati tadhana, nasa side ng binata dahil nasa kusina si Miguel lang pumasok siya doon. I knew it, he declared. Kinabisado mo talagang pasikot-sikot dito para makaiwas sa akin. Ano bang sinasabi mo? Kukuha ko ng tubig kaya dito ako dumaan. Parusot ni Rosette kaso hindi yun umabra kay Miguel. You can ask me now but obviously you can answer that question of yours. How's Anne as your assistant? Balita ko mas malakas ang trip niya kaysa sa iyo at doble ang charms ko sa kanya. Miguel Grandin She's fine, Rosette. In case you did not notice, I haven't fired her. It only means she's effective on her post as my assistant and charms twice as yours did not catch my attention. She has a girlfriend and never fails to rub it on my face. Well, you have me naman. Nakita niyang umarko isang kiri ni Miguel at tumangat ang gidin ng nabi nito. Oh, you didn't hear that from me. I heard it loud and clear, Rosette. Hindi siya nakapagsalita at agad nang iwas ang tingin ng ginawa. You just made us official. Congratulations! Anong oras kayo uuwi ni Robbie, anak? 
tanong ng nani ni Rosette sa kanya pagkasagot sa tawag nito. Iba ang alam ng nani ni Rosette. Ang paalam niya kasi isasama si Robbie sa company event nila kaso lumihis ang schedule at nauwi nga sila dito sa rest house ni Miguel. Huli naman na sinabi ng binata sa kanya na may ibang plano ito at nakausap ng buong team niya para ipaalam na walang presence niya sa event. Baka bukas sa po ng gabi kami uuwi. Kasama ko po ang boss ko at may meeting kami sa mga international investors ng kumpanya. Pag-amin niya na napatas naman sa isang kilay ni Miguel. Nakakita niya to gamit ang gilid ng mga mata. Parang nasa isang ista kasi sila at bukas pa darating ang bangka. Kaya literal na gabi na talaga sila makakawing tatlo. Wala kayo sa Pasay? Nasaan kayo ngayon? Sunod-sunod na tanong pa sa kanya ng ina. Quezon po. Ang layo pero mag-iingat kayo saan. At huwag mong pamayaan si Robby mag-isa. Mga bili ng nani ni Rosette na hindi naman namala. Na yung gamot niyo po baka nakalimutan niyo ng inumin. Napainom na ako ng tiyahin mo. Namiss ko lang si Robby kaya tumawag ako. Miss ka na rin niya at marami siyang pasalubong sa'yo. Narinig niyang malambing na tumawang ina sa kabilang linya. O siya, alam ko na abala ka na dyan. Mag-iingat kayo dyan pati na sa pag-uwi bukas ng gabi. Ihalik mo na lang ko sa anak mo ha? Yun lang at natapos na ang tawag. Binaba ni Rosette ang cellphone at aktong tutok na sa laptop, ngunit nabagabag siya sa mga titig ni Miguel. What? Nothing. I want to confirm if I heard it right. What is it? That I'm still your boss even if this is already a vacation exclusive for us three? I cannot just tell my mother that I accidentally made us official. Aksidente talaga yon pero ayos na rin dahil napanatag siya kahit papaano. Kaso mas ayos na ipaalam yon sa nanin ng personal. I will tell my mother when I got home. Hindi ako masyadong open sa nanay ko pagdating sa love life. Is she aware of what that brute did to you? Galit si Miguel sa lalaking ayaw na nilang pangalan ng dalawa. Naalala kasi nilang pareho ang ginawa nito at ang damage sa kumpanya. All she knew was he cheated his way out of our relationship with my ex-best friend. Nanganak na nga pala siya. When Rosette was busy scrolling through her social media account, she saw photos of her ex-best friend's newborn child. You're still friends with her after she made up stories that went viral? Hindi naman ako active. Tsaka kahapon lang ako nag-open ng social media ko. I uploaded some pictures of us with Robbie. Medyo nahihiya niya pang pag-amin. I saw that and reacted to it. You do? Teka, bakit hindi ko alam na may social media account ka? I've been looking for it since I got hired by your company. It's a private account without friends. Add mo ko para may friend ka na. But we are more than friends, Rosette. Inampas nito sa braso ngunit imbis mainis, tumawa lang to ng malakas. They are more than friends and your set finally has someone whom she can call boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Can I ask you a question? Miguel asked Gerald, which broke down the silence around them. Pareho silang nasa opisina ni Miguel at tahimik. May binabasang dokumento tungkol sa partnership nila sa mga Japanese investors ng Eigenman Corporation at Acceleron. If you will ask me about these documents, I haven't done reading the entire document. Marahas na huminga ang pinsan niya at nilawagan ng suot na nektay. And summarize it for me. Do you want to read mine? Mayaban niyang alok sa pinsan na dahilan ng pagsimangot ito. Going back to my question, Gerald, it's about proposals. How did you do it with your ex-girlfriends? Magpo-propose ka? Kay Rosette? Wait, bakit ngayon lang? You've been seeing each other for almost a year and no matter how discreet you go, everything's still obvious about what you're doing with her during lunch break. Si Miguel ang umayos ng upo at nilawagan din ang suot na nektay. Did I hit too close to home, Miguel? Stop acting clean there. At least we're not doing it here. Unlike you with Vina, let's go back to your question now. What is it? Are you going to propose? Do you have a ring with you? Umiling siya. Tigilan na natin doot bumali na tayo ng sing-sing. I will borrow your notes later. By the way, you still have to make a report for me, Gerald. I know. But helping you buy a ring is the essence of my duty as your best man. Did you just decide to be my best man? You have no friends aside from me, Miguel. In short, you have no choice. Tama naman to pero magpo-propose pa lang siya at plano pa nga lang ang lahat. Masyadong advance sa Gerald pero hiniyaan ni Miguel at binitawan ng hawak na papel sa kasamama dito palabas ng opisina. Binalingan niya si Anna kinansala mga lakan dahil mukha magtatagal sila sa bilihan ng singsing. Knowing himself, he's too picky and particular to what's best for Rosette's finger. This one is part of our finest collection. It's a silver ring made with crystals from Swarovski. Umiling si Miguel pagkatapos ipresent sa kanya ng salesman ng isang singsing. You can check on this one, sir, if that one doesn't suit your impeccable taste. 
This is the most iconic engagement ring in the world. Flawlessly engineered, the six-prong setting disappears and allows the brilliant diamond to float above the radiant 18K rose gold band. Matamang tiring na ni Miguel ang Sing Sing, bago binalingan si Gerald. If you see Rosette happy wearing that ring, go for it. She has been through a lot and having the intention to marry him, her is the greatest reward. Perhaps a dream come true for Rosette. Do you think Rosette will say yes to my proposal if I buy this ring? Whatever her answer, Miguel, it should not stop you from buying this ring. She's practical and hates me for buying her expensive gifts. This is not a usual gift, man. It's a promise of love you're willing to take a ride before God. Tumangotango si Miguel at tinapik naman nito ang kanyang balikat. I will buy this ring, he said and smiled. Mabilis tumakad si Rosette palabas ng cubicle niya, tumungo sa creative department. Gusto niya malaman kung ano ng update sa ginagawa nitong presentation deck na pinagpuyata nila kagabi. Dito na nga siya sa kumpanya na tulog kagabi at naligo kaninang umaga. Dinalhan lang siya ni Miguel ng gamit at ito rin ang nag-alaga kay Robby matapos nandoon sa bahay nila. At dito na po ang nagtatapos ang kabanata ng ating kwento. Sana'y muli niyo po akong samahan sa mga susunod pang kabanata. Maraming salamat po. Keep safe everyone!